Hello everybody and welcome to episode 15 of Stoneblock. In between episodes, I did a live stream and we designed this room a little bit. It still needs a bit more work because it has, doesn't have any sort of depth or and you can see that some stuff is just flat on the walls kind of. You just see it go dup, 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 dup and it's really flat. But I did some work underneath here uh, and we have uh, this little contraption. And it is growing nature seeds, which are then in here crafted into sugar cane. And the sugar cane are crafted into sugar. The sugar is crafted into dark sugar with some more dark sugar. And then sand is being provided by this material stonework factory. And the sand is crafted into soul sand. And then it is extracted and put into here with a limited item filter for putting in two stacks, but it only works for one. So it isn't, it is fine the way it is. And we have a stack of wither skeleton skulls in this black, black, black ender chest as well. And I can show you where that is. Over here by the mob farm, we can go down and then we break our way inside of here. And we have a, the same thing. We're extracting on the black channel and inserting here with a 64 uh, skulls. And it's extracting directly out of that. So what we can do when we get the items, we can toss them probably just in the green, green, green. Where are the bricks coming from? Are they coming from the loot bags? Are these from the loot bags? Recipe, show me. Oh, I can't um, because I disabled the R brick. Are these from the loot bags? Well, I need to, yeah, they are from the, they are from the loot bags. That's why I needed them in the system. Right, 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 right. Um, sure, I could have them still in the compacting drawer. Fine, I'll have them in the compacting drawer. Brick, I have a bunch more. I have like a thousand. Okay, let's just grab out all of this. Now the nether. There we go. All the bricks. Wonderful. Okay, so <clears throat> that is gonna be enough items to start up the wither skeleton spawner. And we can, or the wither, wither spawner even, not the wither skeleton spawner. Everything from the wither skeleton we're gonna filter out from the green ender chest, uh, probably, and it's just gonna get stored into the uh, into the system. We don't need any ingredients, we just need power. So for the power, we're gonna use nether stars with this nether star generator. And there was a tip to make this antidote charm so we can work around this with no problems. If I grab a nether star, we should be getting power uh, here. It's gonna make quite a bit and we're getting wither and it's being healed by this antidote charm that is currently dead. Oh, it has 32 durability and it just pretty much destroyed itself for one nether star. Interesting. And it's still burning. It like burned 5% and that's it. Uh, so we need to provide these with power and we can try that by doing a flux point uh, And the way I have power actually I have to show that as well uh, We have that flux plug that is on purple. It's on another star channel kind of and back here We have uh, this flux point coming into this mop into this uh, uh, storage and we can do a power out on the flux plug over here and uh, send that. And I have a few things that I don't want configured, so we can turn these off. Uh, so basically, this lava power is putting in from here, from this energy cell. And this flux plug is just the one going out of my base, or the power out, basically. So we can just use the green one for any power that we need here. And basically, lava power will kick in and the nether star power will kick in. So we should be good on that. If I add it over here <clears throat> and we turn off the, doesn't have to be turned off the limit, but uh, we should be getting withers now, right? They're spawning, okay? I just need an ender chest, ender chest. I believe the green, green, green should be the one I need and it should put it in here and everything should be extracted and we'll see what, what's left over once this spawns another one. Um, which is gonna do at some point. But the nether star power should be kicking in. Yeah, it's draining. And we need to fill in the, fill this with nether stars, so we'll do that in a moment. But we should see stuff, and there's apparently gold ore pieces. Yeah, there, there it goes. Everything got extracted. All of the things go into the storage, which is really nice. So those pieces, I don't know why they're in the green, green ender chest, but um, they got in there somehow. Uh, so, we need another ender chest, ender chest, and we're going to do the black, black, black again with uh, just three ink sacks. Oops, 
3 ink, like so. And then we're gonna go to where I have my nether stars. I think I have them here, but we can we can put them in a different spot. So let's grab my key. Uh, so we're, we're just gonna make it this a bit easier on us. And we're gonna grab the key and put the nether stars. Nether star, do we have any more? Nope, okay. So we're gonna put them next here to the wither. Even though I could have them in a compacting drawer, there's no use for the compacted nether star. It just means more storage for it. And we're gonna say the nether star, nether stars. We have a stack now, wonderful. So we can do here and say insert 64 and we can just toss 64 in there. And that way we have the nether stars in the ender chest as well at all times. And any of the excess will go into the, uh, the thing. So what I want to test is we're going to take the black, 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 which has the nether stars, and we're going to say a conduit. We can also hide all of this. If we wanted to, we can put everything underground and just filter it in, but we should be fine. If we say extract and then insert, it's going to start doing... Uh, okay, it is, it is putting in nether stars. This is working. We have our antidote charm, but that's okay. I just want to see if when it runs, if I take this off, does this give me weather up here? Or how close I have to be to for, for me to get weathered? I'm getting weathered, but no damage. Interesting. So let's see if I, oh, I'm taking damage. Oh, the antidote charm, I assume wore off. So let's do this, let's do this. Okay. And do we get wither over here? Doesn't look like it. So up top, we should be fine. W wonderful. That That is what I wanted to hear. So then over here, we can also give it power. And we can do just a green or a green ender chest. So ender chest. I'm going to need a couple of these. So let me just grab all and then some green. I could just use this floral up. Let's not put it next to it so it doesn't put in the white. Because then we can put stuff. We don't sort out the loot bags then. Uh, so this should be spawning the wither skeletons. There it goes. And some stuff might not be able to go into the drawers yet. Yeah, we have these wither skull fragments, the drops of evil, the wither dust, and the wither skulls. Or wither skull fragments. So we need to toss those into the drawers real fast. We can do that in a moment. Over here. So let's do Wither Dust, Drop of Evil, and Wither Skull Fragments. And I can craft those fragments into uh, Wither Skulls eventually if I wanted to with just a crafting recipe in like Applied Energistics or something. Uh, so now we're making Wither Skeleton Skulls automatically. We'll see if we make them faster than we use them because this makes quite a bit and it is slow to the to extract so we need oh yeah we need here i know what we need uh, some speed and i know exactly where it's struggling it's by the mob farm where we're extracting out of the green chest over here right you don't have any speed upgrades there you go now you should be done a bit faster and it's weird how it puts it in split stacks but it should be at least a bit faster now and this ender chest is getting quite uh, quite overwhelmed by the, uh, the amount of items due to the loot bags and everything. So we'll see if it can handle the, the dragon as well. <laughs> but, you know, I, I could just do everything in a white ender chest. And if I have it in a drawer, it's going to get imported through the importer anyway. We could do that. But th the way I have it going directly into the drawer controller, you don't ever overflow. Like, and these things will not spawn more if they don't have any space to go. So if something backlogs, nothing is going to break, basically. And one thing that I want to check, now that we're spawning things, we're struggling on sugar cane. We have still a bunch of dark sugar, so we might need more of these. Or I might need bone meal into this or something to grow faster. Or just more. I can set up just, like, two more on either, either side. That could be easy. Um... Uh, We'll see, I'll see about that doing uh, in between cuts here. So over here, give it power. And we need a, let's just do a crate for now. And we need to give this ender crystals. So we need to t extract nether stars, which are probably in, still in here, right? 
There's sex 64. Yeah, and we can look into the nether star. We have six extra. So we're getting a surplus for the power that we're using. Let's take this. So ender crystals are going to require glass, which we can auto make with a material stonework factory. And then we need to craft it into glass panes. And then we also need gas tears. So gas tears can be gas essence. Uh, gas essence, which is kind of slow and it only makes two for eight essences. But do we really need it that much dragon drops? Not really. So I think it's going to be fast enough the way it is. So let me go, go increase this and then set up a system for making the glass panes and auto crafting the ender crystals. I got kind of a similar system over here, except I have the three cloches with ghast seeds and they are making the ghast essence, which is going into here, crafting ghast tears with this recipe. And then it's making glass panes with the glass that I'm providing. And then it's crafting the end crystals and putting them back into this same chest. So we have a stack of skulls, a stack of soul sand, stack of nether stars, and how many, however many ender crystals we have and or end crystals. And when it gets to 16, it's going to do a one spawn of the dragon. So, or the spawn of the dragon that it can do, which is the, the four times ender dragon. And this is taking quite a bit of time. So it doesn't really matter if like we miss a spawn thing or if we don't, because when it gets to 16, it's going to spawn them. And it's not going to make another 16 faster than that, because like, you know, see, it just made two because it got two gas tiers and so it's gonna take it as much time as it needs for these cloches to grow three times I think and I could set up if I wanted to like eight cloches so every time it would grow it would give us uh, a gas essence and then it would give us two gas tiers and it would be faster and I could even do more cloches if I wanted to but we don't need this to be any sort of fast so we just need it to be running because we need the dragon's breath to uh, to use that for the, uh, the whatchamacallit. Did I give you power? Yeah, you're getting wireless power from, uh, from this, right? Uh, and we need, uh, the dragon's breath for the, uh, for the halitosis. No network power. How am I not having network power? Is this not, that's making 4,000. Uh, let's do, um, <laughs> it, it drained all my power here. Uh, and we have no things. Yes. Um, and these spectre coils are not doing the work. So, uh, let's just take this off and then take this off and do that and then take that off. So I get network power <laughs> and we can grab some speed upgrades. And we also don't need these speed upgrades in here, at least. We can just give the, you eight. And then we can go toss the speed upgrades downstairs into the nether star generator. Um, might take some weather damage, but that's okay. So if we give you this, 130,000. That should be enough. <laughs> I don't know if it increases the range on the weather, but... Now it's working. Now we should have enough power and our system shouldn't run out of power. I forgot it only makes 4000 RF attack with uh, no speed upgrades and it kind of drained everything. So we can basically reset this back. Uh, even though we're not using, uh, how much power is this AE system using? 160 RF attack. Yeah, that's no problem for this. This making 360. Uh, but we're just gonna remove that and add that and now we don't really need this power system anymore so we can just remove like all of this this is still making basalt for me which doesn't need to do anymore so basically all of this is now pretty much obsolete all of the crucible thing the ender chests here with the cobble generator and all that it's all obsolete so we can just remove that and we can eventually turn this room into a me controller network room with things going out of it. Um, okay, so let me just quickly clean all of this off. Just a tiny bit. All of the spectre calls, the speed upgrades. I would needed that wither dust, but that's okay. Um, so <clears throat> we're running into just one problem. I mean, I don't I think it's gonna be a problem when it runs out of dark sugar, it's not gonna know how to make more, right? Yeah, now it's out of dark sugar and it doesn't know how to make more. So uh, we would need to provide sugarcane faster than when using soul sand. And we're using soul sand faster than we're producing sugarcane. So instead of producing sugarcane, which we can just remove from these, 
uh, and we don't need that and that and that. Okay, so we're just going to provide this ender chest with a stack of wither dust and I can do that with via the mob farm. Now we're providing wither dust to this chest and we can just extract it into here and the sand and it makes soul sand and we'll see if we make wither dust faster than we're using it. If not, it's going to be bottlenecked on the wither dust, which is perfectly fine. And I could go around and do the whole sugar thing again and solve it with more cloches, but I think the amount of nether stars we're going to use in the nether star generator and the amount of nether stars we're going to... Uh, that is immediately taking damage, okay. The amount of nether stars we're, uh, we're producing, I think we should be fine. So that should be good. The ender dragon, we have like dragon's breath for days probably now. We have 431. It's going to spawn enough and make enough that we're not going to use it, I think, in the in the halitosis generator. Because the rainbow generator is only going to turn on on a... I want to have a power monitor from ender.io, uh, which is this guy. Power monitor monitor I said uh, the, not the graphical this one uh, this can display details of power use and storage can we actually make one just so I can show you uh, we have the machine chassis we just need one of the, the cables which we can do so this <clears throat> uh, no conduit of course okay we got to go to the to the storage system so hold up Over here, we can attach this to here, for example, and it says it gives you the knowledge for the uh, for the storage system, and you can emit a signal when the storage is less than X percentage full, and you can stop that signal when the storage is greater than or equal to uh, some percent full. So what we would set it up is, for example, 25% emit a signal. So when this would be below 25%, we will emit a we would emit a signal and we would turn on the nether star generator. We can just do that now, but I think the nether star generator is just gonna uh, just gonna provide power because we're gonna go off of the nether star generator at some point. We're gonna use the rainbow generator for everything anyway. So this nether star gen is just producing power for this right now. And if it uses a nether star too much or too little, it doesn't really matter <laughs> to be honest. So I think we should be fine on that. Also, the Wither Skeleton Seeds that I had in the Cloches farming, the Wither Skeleton Essence, is currently obsolete because we are making more Wither Skeleton Skulls than we are using, so we are good on that part. So the Wither Skeleton Essence can be used either to make the uh, the skull, which we need the blank skull for, which is Soul Dust, which is either sm it's smelted Soul Stone. So we would need to just smelt a bunch of this and then get it... Uh, get it processed to make more skulls, or we can just make a bunch of wither blocks or just leave it be, whatever. I showed this on stream last night, but I did a little bit of work. It was in the stream and in before the stream, actually. I uh, built a little bit of a wall there, or I designed a bit of a wall with just some steel scaffolding from, or steel sheet, sheet metal uh, from immersive engineering. And I almost said the bad word, but that's okay. It's sheet metal, sheet, it's a sheet. <laughs> okay, and then I made some steel scaffolding, which looks like this, uh, and it's really easy to make, and you, there's like three variants of it. Uh, you can see them here if I show you steel scaffolding. You have this barren one, which is just the scaffolding, and then you can take it and craft it once with itself, and you get this one with like a little grate on top, and then you craft it again, and you get this one with the, uh, with the wood on top, and that connects over corners which is really nice so if i show you this um let's just craft it twice and i'll show you in a moment and up top i have the treated wood scaffolding which has the bottom and the top tech texture the same uh the way the steel scaffolding doesn't if i go down here i think i have a hole it has the scaffolding texture on the bottom so i couldn't use it in the ceiling but this one you see how it connects in the line and you put it on the side it connects on the side and you can just snake it around and it'll connect nicely, which is really cool. So I really like this scaffolding block. I'm glad I discovered it because it has the really nice treated wood color uh, that I really love. And I think it works fine. Even with the willow wood, it is all good, even though the willow wood is a bit green. We could have used something, some other wood if we wanted to, and we can still change it to another wood if we want to. But this is now uh, a fully set up machine. I don't, you know what? 
this is this is gonna bother me. You know, you see how there's a gap. I think I mentioned it one of the episodes before. Let's move all of these by just one block. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do that real fast, and we're gonna look at it then. I decided to clean up the the pillars over there because it was looking a bit weird and wonky, and I think it looks just much cleaner now, even though it's such a long room. But you can still see all of the items being produced and put into here, and then you can see them transferring over there, which is really nice. And I would have loved to have done this with just these conveyor belts. Like, that. that is the ultimate goal. So we might possibly, some point on stream or something, try and play around with setting this up with conveyor belts. That could be cool. Because for the for each induction, I think, I mean, if I had it longer, probably, I could just have one induction smelter and go over each one. Or I could have three in a row, and then I could process... I mean, I could still, I could just keep the exact same line going across everything, and we can just have those and extract the right right things out of the sides to extract the stone, and then everything would have to go into the ender chest in the end because it's it would produce it would overproduce the stone and overproduce the sand and stuff. I mean, that's possible, I guess. It is possible. But I don't know. Well, we'll do it on stream some point, possibly. That could be fun to mess around with. Um, and maybe people can give me tips and tricks for stuff like that. But I did get a, two new Patreons, or Patrons. I need to get uh, used to saying Patron. Uh, and I have, do I have a command copied? Uh, yeah, I do, here. Whoop. This is the command that you need to use if you want to get player heads. Uh, we need to do give Fiki breaker Minecraft skull. And then we need to put the skull owner, uh, somebody else, and then I need the squiggly things, which is this. Yep. Uh, so, for example, if we wanted my head, I think it's going to say uh, no permission. Yeah, because I need to open to land because I don't have this world on cheat mode for some reason. But if that gives me, apparently, it gives me two heads for some reason, but it gives me my head. Um, so that is really cool. But I need to get some heads for, or a head for Fran. He sent me a, his name in the Discord. So I'll, I'll look that up. And I don't know it off the top of my head. And then I need to add two more uh, red Restonia crystal patrons, I guess. But the red kind patrons. And I uh, need some armor to be enchanted. And I can add them somewhere. Possibly on this side in between these two guys or something. Or maybe just move these guys out a bit by like a couple of blocks and we can add another one of each. That could be also neat. I set up the two new patrons and I made strawberry pie, even though it's not cake. It's the closest thing we can get to a cake because we're running out of cake. And it's for a vindictive. She, paid, she became a patron, I think yesterday on stream and she did it for $15. And we also have another, this is the pineapple cake. So stimmy DK. He became a Patreon for $15 with a pie. He's going to get a pineapple cake and he's over here. I don't know if that is his uh, in-game name, SteamyDK, because he hasn't gotten me back on Discord. But if, if that was wrong, if that's not your head, let me know and I can fix it in the next video or in the stream. But I moved the um, medic over and I moved Fran over and now I have Fran's head. So that is that is cool. Let me know if that's the right one or if I made a mistake. And I know this is not a cake, but he gets rainbow jerky because he's a special purple guy and that has purple in it. Even though we could find something other that has purple in it. Also, he has a cupcake, but that's okay. It's a cake. It has cake inside. But I didn't want to use the same cake again. So we're basically out of cake and we're going to resort to possibly pies now because there's quite a few pies. <laughs> There's like shepherd's pie, raspberry pies, sweet potato pie, slime pie, apparently. There's all, all of the different things. So we can just start making new things from Pam's and it should be fun. Uh, and all I do is I place down the market and buy the things I need and then I trash them right after because I think I'm going to make one of each things anyway. So that is neat. I enchanted some more redstone armor for them, which is really nice. And we are slowly, if we continue getting patrons like this, we're going to have to expand the room quite a bit and start adding people on this side as well. And I also moved Daniel's super special cake over here. It's an end cake. So he has two cakes. Uh, you're welcome, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's that. Um, and I grew the things over here on this uh, fertilized dirt from random things, which is really neat. Okay. 
I decided to just go with the old fashioned ex nihilio method here. We were not keeping up with the soul sand with the wither dust, so I need to turn that off as well, but this now works. We are extracting water out of this uh, ender IO conduit and it's going into all of these stone barrels that are sitting on top of mycelium, which turns it into witch water slowly but surely. And then over here, we're extracting the soul sand out of, or the sand out of this. And when you insert it into a barrel with witch water, it turns it into soul sand. So then on the brown channel, we just extract it over into here with a limited item filter. So we don't just fill up, fill up this chest eventually. But I think it's just on the verge of keeping up. Like it's possibly making a few more than uh, what we need. But as you can see, like it's going to go up to around 20. There you go. And it used 16. And then it's going to go up again to around 20 and use up 16. And it's really cool. It keeps up. That's It's already on 16, so already more than we need. But I think it makes just a few more just to be safe. And it's really cool. Yeah, there we go. 16. Four left over. I think it's just fine. We're making 25 soul sand, basically, in each one of these barrels. So you can see a bunch of it will be made really soon now, I think. Because uh, a lot of those have converted. But it is working. It is a self-sufficient system. We no net need to rely on wither dust and on this spawner or whatever so and all on sugar and on growing that so that is fine i think this isn't too laggy and we should be good and this is doing uh, doing its best with the gas essence we could also so, uh, make a gas spawner if we wanted to make gas gears faster and we could just use my sword to kill them or we could even just do gas tears whoops gas tears out of the system because we have a thousand eight hundred but i think it's okay we don't need the dragon's breath. We have 89 dragon eggs if we need more. We have uh, 815 dragon's breath. And we're, I think one of the dragon's breath in the halitosis, halitosis, if we look for uses, it burns for 10 minutes. So uh, the amount of, that the rainbow generator is going to make, I think it's 25 million. It's going to fill up that storage cell before the 10 minutes are out. So we don't even need that much dragon's breath. We need, don't need nearly enough or nearly as much that's the right word as we are producing right now so that is really cool i think this is going to be it for today we got all of the wood farms up and running today and a little bit in the live stream but we kind of tore down everything that was done in the live stream and changed it for something else but pretty much we have another star power now and that is really cool so we can power more machines if we wanted to but i think in the next episode we're going to start working on the generator room I might start designing it on stream. Well, designing it at least, uh, starting to see how it's gonna look per se and not automate anything for it really. Just maybe place down gener the generators and stuff like that. I might do that, I don't know. But <clears throat> that is kind of the plan. Uh, so with that, I want to thank you all for watching and hold up, ha ha, did it. I wanna thank you all for watching. I am hoping you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure to hit the like button, consider subscribing to see new videos, support me on Patreon if you wanna give a little bit more, and I will see you all in the next episode. Have a great one, bye-bye. <laughs>